Hey guys, this is going to be a guide on running the Best Buy and AMD module on Stellar. This video is brought to you by Nocturnal Proxies. Be sure to check them out on Twitter and you guys can also follow my socials in the description below. In this video, we'll be giving away 4GB of Violet Resi, so make sure you guys subscribe to enter. The winners will be drawn in the next video. Today, we'll be going over how to run the Best Buy and AMD module for the most success. So first, we're going to start with Best Buy. So we're going to head on over to the Accounts and Sessions tab, and here's where you can add your Best Buy accounts and sessions. Here's where you can mass import the accounts or add them individually. If you guys are using Stellar on a server, I recommend using an ISP or Resi for the login proxy because the server IP might be banned. If you guys have two-factor enabled on your Best Buy account, just head on over to the Best Buy website, go over to your account settings, and head on over to the two-factor option. Here's where you can get a code for the Authenticator app. Once you guys click this, you guys are going to get a 16-digit code, and all you guys have to do is enter it into here, and then select Request, and then click on Save. Now we can start creating our tasks for Best Buy. So here we have our Best Buy task group. We're going to create a task, and here we have Normal Mode, Q, and Monitor Mode. So Normal Mode is for non-hyped releases. This is mainly for restocks. So in the Profiles tab is where you guys can choose your desired profile. Your Checkout Proxy, I recommend using DC, ISPs, or Resis. I recommend using Nocturnal Proxies. You guys can check them out in the description below. And here they are. Here are their residential proxies and their data center and retail ISPs. Once you guys purchase the proxies, you guys can easily generate them through the dashboard. Just for this video, if you guys are interested, make sure you guys take advantage of this discount. Use code STELLAR15 to save 15% off your order. And then next, you guys just need to enter in your SKU. And for delays, I recommend using 3,000 to 5,000 for restocks. And then you enter in your quantity and your pickup radius, which is measured in miles. And for your fulfillment type, you guys can either choose pickup or shipping. Now for watch task, if you guys want this task to be notified once something goes in stock, you guys will need to create a monitor task for the desired SKU. And for accounts, some products require you guys to use accounts. So for those products, I recommend turning this on. Now let's go over the queue mode. So you select your desired profile, and for monitoring proxy, you guys can use DC, ISPs, or Resis. And same with checkout proxy. Here's where you enter in your SKU. And for delay, I recommend using 2,500 to 4,500 for Q mode. And here's where you enter in your desired quantity, your max wait time. So the default is five minutes if you guys leave it blank. But if you guys wanna enter in your own custom time, just keep in mind you guys cannot enter in a value lower than 90. And for the pre-login, if you guys are using a Total Tech Best Buy account, this is when you guys need to enable this. If you guys are not using that, just leave that blank. And for checkout type, there's request, harvester, and browser. So request will attempt to check out your item using requests. And for harvester, your checkout window will pop up in the harvester, and that's where you guys can complete your checkout. And similar to browser, a whole browser window will pop up for you guys to complete your checkout. Fulfillment type, you guys can either choose shipping or pickup. And if you guys choose pickup, you can enter in the desired radius. And if you guys have a custom start time or you guys know when the item is dropping, you guys can enter it in here and the end time. And that's it for the Best Buy module. Now we're going to be going over the AMD module. So for the AMD module, we have guess and release. So guess mode allows you to have unlimited amount of tasks. For release mode, this has to be enabled by a staff or developer, and this is only enabled during drops, and it limits you to 20 tasks in total. Here's where you can enter in your desired profile and your proxies. I recommend using DC, ISPs, and Resis. All three work amazing for AMD. And now for the SKU, here's where you enter in your desired SKU for the GPU that you guys want or whatever product from AMD. And for region, if you guys are botting in the US or Canada, you guys can choose your desired region. And for delays, I would recommend using 3000 to 5000 as your delay. You're the quantity, usually you enter in one. And now for solver, if you guys choose solver, your captures will pop up in the native Stellar window for you guys to solve. And if you guys choose AYCD, the capture will pop up on AYCD for you guys to solve. And if you guys have a start and end time, you guys can enter them right here. Additionally, there's another option you guys can configure 
head on over to the settings and in general you guys can set the max amount of queue tasks i recommend entering 5 to 10 and no more than that and that concludes the video for best buy and amd if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below make sure you guys subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out